What's happening producers? This is your boy Reggie Beats. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the IT producer and today I'm gonna show you guys how to add a beat contract or a beat license to your beat selling website using this plugin. So since we're using a plugin which is a WordPress plugin, this will only work on WordPress. So meaning that for this to work, you, your beat selling website has to be based on WordPress. And if you want to make your beat selling website using WordPress but you don't know how to, there's a link in the description below. Let's get it. As you can see right now on my screen, I have this beautiful website, man. Look at it. I made this a couple of days back. You know, so this is going to be my new beat store. I'm currently using the BeatStars Pro page, but as you grow as a producer, you want to have more control over your your products, you know what I'm saying? So I want to be able to make my Google ads and be able to play around with the SEO. So that's why I have my own custom beat selling website that I'm currently migrating to. So as you can see right now, I can open up this. I can play that. You know, I can choose which license I need. You know, other MP3 lease or wave lease. The only thing that's missing is the contracts right now. And you need to have this set up because this is called attributes. You have to have this set up to be able to use the plugin because with the plugin you need to be able to assign mp3 lease its own contract and you need to assign wave lease its own contract so since now we see this is working like this now we're gonna go to the plugin so the plugin we're gonna use is provided by bitstore.co the link is gonna be in the description below so just go to their website and you're gonna go to licenses and contracts for woocommerce Man, shout out to BeatStore, man. They understand what we need, you know what I'm saying? They understand that as a producer, you gotta be independent. You know what I'm saying? Here's like a young walkthrough of how it works, but I'm also gonna show you guys now. So just select for a single site and there's a free trial. And it's actually pretty affordable. Just click on buy now so you can see how much it actually is. So you only pay $29 a year. Well, I already have mine. So just get yours. You get your seven day free trial. So you're not gonna get charged immediately. If you feel like you don't like it, then you can cancel it. Okay, so once you got yours, you're gonna log in and be able to download it. You'll just receive an email and it'll give you the plugin. You're gonna download it. And that email will also have an activation code. You gotta copy that and then you're gonna put it into your WordPress. So now I'm gonna go to WordPress. I'm gonna install the plugin. I'm gonna go back to my website. Go to my dashboard admin admin panel then i'm gonna go to plugins you know plugins then i'm gonna go to add new so now here when i say add new i need to actually install the plugin that i've downloaded from my email but since i've already installed it i'm just gonna activate but then you just gonna go click on upload plugin choose file and go locate wherever the file is but me on my case i'm gonna go to installed plugins like i use it bit store license and contracts for e-commerce i'm gonna click activate so once you've installed and activated just check on the side here where it leaks where it says licenses and then you're gonna come to the screen here you might not have anything here because you haven't created anything i've already created my licenses but i'm gonna show you guys how to create licenses so i'm just gonna create an additional one now so you can see how it works so since we are here by licenses just go by settings just to check quickly so in the settings i think yeah you don't actually need to do much let's go back to licenses so now we're gonna create a license let's say for the mp3 lease so let's go create add new so i'm gonna call this license mp3 lease standard because i already have my own mp3 lease so i must be able to know which one is which so now you see here it says product attribute that's when i said you need to have set up your attribute and i've showed you guys how to do that step by step in my previous video the link is in the description below so for this one i'm gonna select the mp3 lease so it means that this mp3 lease will apply to the mp3 lease attribute which is when i'm selling the beats that's the attribute that i use and the default price i'll just say 30 dollars 
and then now i like this part man they just made everything so easy so now we're gonna check out this section we're gonna start here so if it's an mp3 list then we just want the mp3 included only but if it's a wave list we're gonna select wave as well number of distribution copies let's say 3000 for mp3 music videos you can do one radio stations you can do one non-monetized streams unlimited and non-profit performances i think you can be unlimited too audio streams let's just keep it by 50,000. monetized zero because an mp3 lease allowed for paid performances no so these are our variables these are called variables so we're gonna use this to be able to add into our contract so now it says contract template so this is where we're gonna add our contract so remember i said i have a another beat store let me just go to it right now which is reggie beats the one with the beat stars pro page so the beat stars pro page also i have my licenses set up here so i'm gonna go to my licenses and just copy the details so we, so we can have somewhere to start with because i'm not a music lawyer so i'm on my beat stars pro page i'm gonna read my full license and i'm gonna copy everything here then i'm gonna bring it all the way this side on our contract template and i'm gonna paste it you see great now you're gonna see what you're gonna do so cool so now this values that uh, have to change you know what i'm saying like this the date has to change because people could people are gonna be buying this beat on different days and the licensee which is the person who's buying the beat the name has to change as well so here we need to put the variables instead of just hard coding these values so let me show how, how it works so as you can see here it says this license agreement is made on and it shows the date so we're gonna replace this date with a date variable so we're gonna scroll down and you see here it says contract variables shout out to beatstore.co for doing this so when i go to contract date you're gonna copy this then you're gonna come here with this contract date you're gonna paste it here boom you see so it says this license is made on so this variable will just take the date of the day when somebody buys the beat and it's gonna add it there it's crazy Okay, and it says this agreement is made between licensee. So licensee is the person who's buying the beat. So we're gonna come here and look for customer name. There it is, customer full name. And we're gonna go replace it here by licensee. Okay, cool. And then and then here it says professionally known as, which is the AKA. We're gonna come here by customer alias. I'm gonna go and paste it here as well. You know, so mostly the things that have bold on them, those are the stuff that are gonna replace, but not all of them. Then producer name as well. So since this is not gonna change, you can just write your name in there. All right, Reggie Beats, because the reason for these variables is because the values here don't stay the same; they change. But if the value is gonna stay the same, you can just hard code it. You know, to save yourself the trouble. And then the producer name, I'm gonna write my name as well again, Reggie Beats. So it'll be delivered as mp3 file and as you scroll down and down and down you can see now it says selling a total of 3000 copies you see what i'm saying so now we need to replace this with our variable for how many copies that they can sell so we're gonna scroll down and look for copies where is that distribute copies you're gonna copy that scroll up again then you're gonna replace this 3000 this right here you know when i replace that and then now and you're gonna replace the price with this then now for the audio streams you're gonna check and i replace that ten thousand with the number of audio streams scroll up place this 10,000 there Okay, cool we'll just only edit those ones and then so i can just show you guys how it works so now we're gonna go to save 
Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go to licenses. Let's see if it's there. Uh, MP3 list standard. There we go. So we're gonna go to the website now. To my website, my new beat store website, beatstore.dragibeats.com. Okay, we're gonna select the beat. And hey, now we have this button right here. It just says license details. So we're gonna click on that. And boom, this is crazy. This is all the details we've entered MP3 lease, wave lease, exclusive lease. You know, I've been making a whole lot of websites using WordPress, and this is my first time having a plugin that can do this so easy. Okay, cool. So let's select MP3 lease. I'm gonna add it to cart. I'm gonna view our cart. So I'm gonna click on view license. And as you can see, the contract might be a bit different because as I said, I already had my own contracts in there, but it's the same thing. As you can see now, the effective date has changed because we replaced this with the placeholder and even the name of the beat is uh, more important. And if you can check there, the name of the beat is more important. Even the values have been replaced. So, so that's how you add beat contracts or beat licenses to a custom WordPress beat setting website. And if you want to add more licenses, you just go to add new and add more. Now we're at the end of the video. So that's how you add beat contracts or beat licenses to a beat setting website using the beat store plugin. If you learned something from this video, hit the sub button. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and I'm going to get to them ASAP. Let's get it with beats the IT producer. I'm out.